Hey everyone, it's Alyssa, and I wanted to just share with you it's about a movie that I saw, and that is Heaven is for Real. It definitely got you thinking, um, at least it did for me, uh, because I've had an experience like that myself, where I myself have gone to heaven, and only I wasn't sick, and you know, like I didn't die, you know, so I was able to relate to I'd say to heaven, you know, is for real. And I was um, able to relate to everyone who thought that that cult of Burpo was crazy. Um, because in the natural mind, in the human mind, what had happened to the Colton, it made no sense. And so people would be like, no, uh, no, he must have died and then he did this or, the Lord took him up to heaven and he saw things that were amazing. And he saw angels. The movie really had done a good job, you know, featuring his experience in heaven. And it, you know, and the movie had also done an outstanding job of people thinking that he was crazy like even his own father thought no what you know in 2007 i was um, in my room and i was on my bed and and i just felt compelled to just go and lay down on my bed and i did that and then immediately I was transported into heaven. And the first thing I saw was the angel who was, uh, let's say like, who was at my side. It was a tall angel guy. Let's the angel had wings and the angel, he was wearing a white gown. And I wasn't scared at all. And I was just at peace. So the angel like led me over to this um, area and you know this area had like grass and the grass was alive it was like swaying like that just very bright and green everything in heaven was bright i saw this white fence and it was a white picket fence um, it wasn't dull um it was very bright and it was brand new like it looked brand new but it was there for a while and then also along with that was the oak tree that i saw and the tree was like a deep rich brown like an espresso type of brown and it was very bright as what's well. like on the tree it had the leaves and you know, and the leaves were a very bright green. You know, everything I saw was just so beautiful. So I saw a group of girls. They were younger. Um, all of them were in white gowns um, with like a rope belt thing. And then on their hair, it was a crown, you know, flowers. You know, and the girls were just laughing, talking, and you know, and sharing stories. A group of girls was just so happy, just so alive. And it was unlike anything I've experienced here on this earth. Um, just alive. Everything was just alive and bright. And especially the girls, you know, and I wanted to go and join them. But the angel said, no, you can't yet. I saw that, like I was just observing it and just in awe that I was in this place and it was just magnificent and I was led over to this other part and it had like a and it looked like an elevator type of thing but it was like a clear kind of tube is the best way that I can say but it was why it was kind of like an elevator so the angel had me go down inside immediately I was in this darkness this dark place which I knew was a place going down to hell 
Um, and my experience with hell was a different story that I'll tell like on another day, but this, and it was there that I saw the Lord and saw all these people who were hurting, who were in agony and they were just hurting inside and just, and they were like screaming out for help. They were like yelling for help, you know, and they had their hands out like this, help me, help me. And it was very heartbreaking. But yet I wasn't scared because I had the Lord like right there with me. Uh, so like I wasn't scared to be in this place, but you know, but the Lord was showing me all of these people who were hurting, like who were crying out for help. Now like he said, let's say you cannot come home until these people, until these people come to know the Lord. Like the trip was straight up a mandate from the Lord. I mean like I saw that heaven was real. I saw it you know, with my own eyes. And then after that I went back up the elevator type of thing and I was back in my room. And I was stunned because I was back in my room but I had just come from heaven. So I wanted to tell you about this experience because one, it may not make sense on the natural but there are a lot of people who have gone to heaven and I'm here to tell you that heaven is for real. It's a real place. Hell is a real place. If you're not sure if you're going to heaven or not, and I'm going to have a prayer at the end of this that I want you to say. I really want you to just think about your life. Where are you going? Father, please have mercy on me, a sinner. Please forgive me of all of my sins and come into my heart. I believe that you have sent your son as Jesus Christ to die for my sins. I believe he died on the cross um, and rose again so I can have eternal life. I give you my life, you know, and ask you to take full control. In Jesus' name, amen.